Hi guys, Nessa here, and today I wanted to share with you another build out of my brick history. I think this book is like really, really cool. And today we're going to go to page 40, and you guys can build with me if you'd like. Um, this is, it talks about early maps and alphabets, so if you guys want to like pause and like read that real quick, you can. Um, but it's basically talking about um, cartographers. Um, and maps and uh, talking about uh, early Chinese writing and that the Chinese were the ones who, you know, cartographers, they were, you know, they were one of the first cartographers and stuff. And that um, it go dates back to like 400 BCE and that um, their writing has been around for like 2,000 years and such. And they have like over 40,000 symbols to represent like you know, letters and syllables and things like that. Um, and so this is the symbol for brick. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of cool. And, you know, the title of my channel is The Brick is Life. So, and we all like Lego. So why not? Um, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to build this. Um, I thought it would be kind of easier, but I think I was wrong. But it is what it is. So this is the parts list. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to show you what parts we need. And then, um, I'll show you the book. It's kind of it's kind of hard and tricky, but I'm going to build this with you guys. So if you want to build with me, you can. Um, if not, oh, did I just rip my book? I just ripped my book. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad. Oh well. Um, these are all the parts that you're going to need, and I do recommend separating them out and stuff because it'll make it easier for building, way easier. First, you're going to need six of these, one by two, with the slopes, and you'll need four of these whatever they are but I only had three of them so I'm gonna use a one by two uh, you need two of these slopes and two of these double high slopes you'll need two of these one of those like I can't remember the names of some of these and I'm just trying to get through this quick so you know um, you need two I mean you need six of the two by four plates two of the two by six plates two of the two by eight plates two of the two by ten plates but I only have one so I'm, I'm you know making my own if you have to make your own you know putting other bricks together or whatever then do that because it works um, then you also need six of the two by fourteen plate uh, plates but I don't have them so I'm using two by eight and two by six plates to make a two by fourteen and then you need one two by sixteen plate you also need two two by eight bricks a 2x10 brick, but I don't have one, so I'm using two of those. Uh, you need two of the 1x2 two, two with the uh, clips, and two of the 1x2 with the bars. You also need 17 1x2 plates, a 1x3 plate, um, 18 of the 2x2 two two plates, and 6 of the 1x3 plates. You will need one of these 1x2 modified bricks with the studs on both sides. You need six of the one by two bricks, two of those, um, 30 of the two by two bricks, one of the two by three bricks, two of the two by six bricks, um, one of these with the hinge on the side like that, a brick with the hinge, and then the plate, two by two plate with the hinge. You'll also need four of the one by two tiles, five of the two by two tiles, um, two of the one by three tiles, and you'll need eight of the two by four tiles, but I only have one, so I'm using one by fours together. You also need 10 of the one by six tiles, but I'm missing one, so I'm using two of the one by threes. You also need four of the two by eight tiles but I'm missing one so I'm, again I'm just improvising and then you'll need two of these of the one by one bricks with the snot or the stud on the side or if you have a one by two that has it that's fine also okay now that that's over <laughs> that took a bit um, I'm gonna try and build this as quick as possible but yet try to take my time because I'm only going to try and keep this video under like 30 minutes if possible, or around 30 minutes. So, we need to get started. So, we will need a 
two by six brick and the two two of the one by three plates and we're gonna put those right like that right on top we also need a one by two brick and a two by six plate and we're gonna place the plate off centered by one and then the brick right under it like so um, we will also need two of the one by two plates and a two by two brick you're gonna put the plates on top of each other and then on top of the brick and then you're gonna put that together right here I will try to stay in frame as much as possible I know sometimes I do have a habit of going out of the frame I will try not to leave the frame I apologize um, we will also need two two by two bricks and a two by two plate and we're gonna stack the bricks on top of each other with the plate on top and then this goes on this end and then we will also need a one by two brick again to fill in that gap on the end there so yeah it looks like that okay now we will need one two three four five of the two by two bricks and we will stack them all together and they go on this side of it so it looks kind of like a chair a lopsided chair <laughs> and then we will also need one two three four of the two by two bricks and a two by two plate and the one or the two by three brick so we need to stack all the bricks together then the plate and then the brick and it's going to go off like that and then this little build goes right there on that so now we're going to need two of these um weird pieces but I don't, i'm going to just use one and one of these i'm going to put it together like that in just a second because uh, you won't really see the back and then you need one of these and then you need a two by four plate and another where are they at one by two brick so these are gonna go together with this right on top so it looks like that technically you're supposed to have two of these sticking out but I only have the one right now and that's okay and this is gonna go right here underneath like that then the plate is going to go across here, the 2x4 plate, and then the 1x2 brick is going to go right there. Okay, next we need another one of these, and the other 2x6 brick, and a 1x2 plate, and also two of the 1x6 tiles, but I'm going to use that because I don't, um, you know, I'm missing one, so it's okay. So I'm going to put this on the end, the slope on the end, with the brick next, and then the tile, or the 1x2 plate to fill in that gap. Now we're going to place the 1x6 tiles right here. Okay, and it's going to leave that open. So now we're going to make the little build that goes off of this, and we're going to need two of these and the two of the one by ones with the stud on the side we're also going to need two one by one um, plates so the plates are going to stack on top of each other and then we're going to stack the one by ones with the stud on the side like that and that is going to go on the bottom of one of these and then the other one is going to go under that so yes there is a gap but once you attach all of this to this, it fills in that gap. So, yeah. Okay. Now we're going to build the part that goes in here, and you're going to need these two of the 1x4 slopes, and we also need a 1x2 uh, plate and a 2x2 two two plate. So we're going to stack, or we're going to put the plates, the 1x2 plate on the very, very end to attach those together. And then we're going to fill in this space with the 2x2 two two plate. And then we're going to attach all of this with that pointed edge down right onto those two studs. So it looks like that. Now we're going to build the top piece that goes across. And it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven, eight, nine. It is the ten studs across. So it is a two by ten, which I only have two one by tens, but that's okay. So long as it looks like this, it will work. And you also need um, a two by ten plate. So we're gonna put the plate down. Then we're gonna put those on top. And then it's asking for um, two of the one by eight tiles, but I'm gonna use those. And it's also asking for a two by two tile. So we're gonna put all of this on, on top. All right. And then we're gonna flip it over and we need a one by two tile, uh, one by two plate, and we're gonna count four over. So one, two, three, and then that's gonna go in the fourth slot. Okay, and then this is all gonna go right on top of there. And now we have completed the first part of the symbol. So let's move on to the second part, which is gonna be a little bit trickier. And I'm gonna have to build it like laying down because it's gonna be like, it's fragile. So yeah. Okay, so now we're going to need the 2x14s, but I only have these, the 2x8s and the 2x6s. But you need to put them on top of each other, and instead of putting them this way where they're loose, I'm going to go this way so that they overlap each other, so it makes it just a little bit stronger. See? Yeah. And now we need a 2x2 um, two two brick and a two by two tile, and you're gonna put them on top of each other and put it right in the middle. Then we're gonna take another two by two um, plate and we're gonna place it one stud over, so it's right there. Okay, now we're gonna need three two by two bricks and three two by two tiles. We are also gonna need two of the um, two by four plates or um, tiles, I mean, not plates. I know, I'm getting them confused. I'm sorry, I'm dyslexic. So we're going to put all these little uh, plates on top of the bricks. And we're going to put one on each end and one directly above the other one, like so. Then we're going to take our tiles and fill in the gap. Fill in the gaps. Yep, just like so. Now we're going to need another two of those 2x14s, but again, I don't have them, so I'm going to switch these around again, and I'm going to build them together, like that, and then I'm going to put this on top. Okay, and then we're going to do this again, so we need three of the 2x2s of the bricks, and then three of the 2x2 two two tiles, and then two of the 2x4 um, tiles, or these are plates, I'm sorry. Wow, I'm doing it again. So we need to stack the uh, the plates on top of the bricks and do this again. One on each end and one in the middle. And then we got to put the plates, or the tiles, inside. Plates have studs, tiles do not. <laughs> I'm getting them so confused. Okay, so now we have what looks like this. It looks almost like a fence. It's kind of cool. Now we need to do this um, top part one more time, uh, the two by fourteens again and again. I have to switch them because I don't have them. Yep. And then we are going to add um, four of the one by six tiles. So we need to put them on either end and leave a two by two gap in the middle, just like so. And then we're going to add this to this. So there, now it really looks like a fence. Um, so now we need another 2x2 two two brick and a 2x2 two two plate, and we're going to stack them together and put that in the middle, just like so. And now we also need this really big 2x16 plate with um, a 1x2 plate and two of our 2x8 um, bricks with a 1x2 brick. So we're going to attach, we're going to put that together on the end, the little plate on the end, and add this here. Then we're going to put the 1x2 brick in the middle, and then the other 2x8 brick on the end. And now we want to, um, we're going to tile this on the top. 
So we need two one by eights, two one by sixes, and one one by two. So we're gonna put the one by eights on this side and the one by sixes on this side with the one by two right next to the one by sixes. Okay, now this is gonna go so that this gap is right exactly on top of that one. And it's gonna be off center. This is gonna be off by one stud and this is gonna be off by two studs and that's exactly how it's supposed to look. So now we need a two by two brick and um, two two by two uh, plates and a two by two tile. So we're gonna stack the plates on top of the brick first and then the tile on top of that. And this piece goes right on the very, very top. So we're gonna put that down for now. And now we're gonna build the, um, the next piece that here that goes on the bottom. So we're gonna need both of our um, one by twos with the bars and two of the one by two with the plates. And this is gonna be a little wobbly at the end, but you put one of the one by plates, one by two plates on that side and the one by two plate with a bar on that side, and then we're gonna switch it. So then it's the one by two plate and then the bar. So it looks like that. So it's at like an angle. So now we need, we're gonna need these two, whatever those are, and then we're gonna need two of these one by twos with this half slope. We're also gonna need um, two of the two by threes. We're also going to need the uh, one by two with the clips. We're also going to need a two by two tile, a one by two tile, and a one by two plate. So let's see if I can get this. We need to put these two together. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put that one there. And these two go on top of each other like so. I know it's a little awkward to build right now because they both wiggle. And then we're going to take a one by, or a two by three and place it on the end to hold them together. So it looks like that. Next, we're going to take another two by three and put it all the way on the end, or all the way in, and then put the on the end the one by two with the clips, like that. Then we take a one by two tile, a one by two plate, then the two by two uh, tile, and put it like that. So we're going to flip this over. And now this is going to go here on the end, and then it's going to go up till it touches. So that part is done. So now let's do the other half, or the other side. So we're going to need a 2x6 plate, the 1x2 plate with the clips, a 1x2 plate, a 2x4 plate, and also, where is it at? Okay two of the one by six um, tiles. So we are going to put this together with the clips on one end, the two by four in the middle, and the one by two on the end, and then we're gonna tile that with the two one by sixes. So this is also gonna flip over so that this is facing away from us, and we're gonna attach it to this side. And that's gonna go at a slight angle as well. It's gonna almost look like a straight line, like a diagonal. So it's gonna be like that. Okay, now we're going to build a little piece that comes out the end, and it's kind of tricky. These are the next tricky parts, but we're going to get through it. So we need one of these, two of the 1x2s uh, plates, and a 1x2 tile, and a brick, 2x2 two two brick. So we're going to put this on this side with the hinge piece outward. Then we're going to stack the two tiles, or two plates, I'm sorry, and then the one tile. And then this one hinge piece is going to go on the very end of this piece that we had. And we want to make sure that this line and this line are going to be, I guess, parallel or horizontal, whatever. They're going to, they're going to go the same straight line up and down. Next, we need our 1x2 modified with the studs on both sides and a 1x2. And we are going to attach them together, like so. And then we are going to place it upside down or on its side just like that. Okay. This part's going to be a little bit tricky. We need one of these, 
one of these, a 1x2 plate, and a 1x2 tile. Like I said, this is going to be a little tricky, so we're going to use the inside, and we're going to put in the 1x2 um, brick and the 1x2 tile, I mean plate, and then we're going to flip it around so that it is facing this way, up and down. And we're going to take the tile and put it on that stud facing us upward, like that. And then this is going to connect to the bottom of that. So it's really odd looking, but it's necessary. So, yeah. Okay, now we're going to build um, this really weird bottom piece. And uh, this, is, this one's a little bit harder. So, yeah. But we're going to need four of the 2x2 two two bricks. Um, and then I'm going to build this as we go because of how difficult it is. Um, it'll just be easier for me to do the parts as we go. So we are going to need the 2x4 tile, but I don't have that, so we're going to use this. And then we will need these two pieces, and they will go on the end of your 2x4 tile. Okay. Then we will need a 2x6 tile. I mean 2x3 two by, two by plate on the end. And then we will need to put in these 1x2 with the slopes on the end. Then we will need to fill in this gap with another 2x3 plate. And then we will also need a 2x2 two two plate and another 2x3 plate. And then we will need another of these two 1x2s with the slopes on it just like that. Okay. And then we will need a 1x2 plate right inside, and then we will need a 2x4 plate on the end, just like that. And we'll put that down for a minute. Now we need to build up these bricks, so we're going to put the four bricks on top of each other with a plate. Then we're going to take this piece and we're going to attach it just like that. This piece we will now flip over like a J, and it will fit in right in the bottom, just like that. Now we're going to build out this way, and we will need, again, four of the bricks, of the 2x2 two two bricks, and a 2x2 two two tile. So we're going to stack all the bricks, whoa, and then the tile on the top. And then this will go right here. You want to put it um, in the top part. So there we go. Next, we have this one big last piece to go here and then down, so it'll make this really cool um, thing, yeah. So we need to stack two of the 2x8 plates together. Okay, let me move this up a little bit out of the way. And then we also need to stack um, two of the 2x4 plates together and put them at a slight angle. We are going to use our hinge plate now. And we're going to attach it to the one corner of the 2x4. And then we're going to count three in and it's going to be on the fourth and fifth stud, so it looks just like that. Okay. Next, we're going to put in a 2x2 two 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 plate on this end, the 2x3 plate on this end, the 1x3 plate in the middle to attach it all. We have to leave this one empty for the hinge. Then to fill in this side, we need a 1x2 plate and a 2x2 two two plate. Now we're going to fill in the top. So now we need the uh, two by one, two, three, four. The two by ten plate, but I don't have it, so I'm going to use both of these, and they go across the top with it hanging off the end like so. And then the other two by four plate there. Next, we're going to take the rest of our tiles that are left. We need three, three of the uh, two by fours, and one of the um, two by twos. So I'm going to place my only 2x4 there, and I'm going to use the other 1x4s to make them. I'm going to put them on either end, and then the 2x2 two two just like that. And then this piece that sticks out like that will slide right on top of that piece, just like so. And now we have created our symbol for brick. Um, it is a little fragile to pick up. It does want to break and fall and like wiggle, so it is better if you 
leave it laying down unless you can figure out a way to balance it proper but yeah so I think it's a, we did a good job um I like it a lot I think it's kind of cool that it means brick um, I'm glad they did that so yeah I think it, it looks very very close to what we have here there's that and there's oops there we go there's that and those two line up so yeah um I loved doing this video this was awesome building this was so cool um, I think it's very very interesting um, yeah I like how they got this curve in there like that and these like angles and everything it's really really neat so yeah um I hope you guys had fun building with me if you could. If you couldn't, I'm sorry, but I still hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, this was a really interesting build, and you can use whatever colors you have if you don't have black or all white or whatever. You can just use whatever pieces you have. It can be whatever color you want it to be. So, yeah. Um, I'm hoping to do more in this book, this Brick History book. It's a very cool book. If you can find one, it's great. I got mine at Bell's Outlet for like $4.00. So, um, they have some great builds in there, and I'm hoping to build some more stuff with you guys. Um, they're not promoting me. Um, I just, I just think the book is really cool. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and, um, I hope to see you guys in future videos. And, um, if you'd like to comment, that'd be great. Uh, but just letting you know I'm having an issue with my comments, and they're not all getting to me. I have to literally, like, go into the video and, like, see who commented. So, if I don't get back to you... I apologize, but I'm trying to get back to anybody who comments. So, yeah. Well, have a good day. Keep on bricking. And bye.